Hello everyone. In this video, I will be talking about using Pandas and Pandas profiling to explore and analyze data. The first step is to generate a data set. So I have searched for DCDC -DC converters on DigiKey. And as you can see, you can filter out the results according to manufacturer. So I have selected few manufacturers and I have downloaded the data. So you can download the data as a CSV file. DigiKey allows around 500 results per page. So I have already downloaded few files. So this is how all the files look like. So here, if you go to the first file, so this is how the data set looks like. This has 500 items. There's 500 items. So the first step, don't save. So the first step would be to combine all the CSV files. So let's go to a Jupyter notebook. So here I give the location of this directory, test3. I am trying to combine all files in the directory with the extension .csv and I am trying to rename the combined CSV file to digikey.csv. So let me run this cell. So it's completed. Let me go back to the directory. So here we have the combined file. So let us see how it looks like. So this should have around 14,000 items. So Python combined all the CSV file in that directory. So now let us work on this data set. Let's close. Let's go back to the Jupyter notebook. So now we are calling the pandas profiling package. So we are trying to read the CSV file and generate a profile report. So let me run this cell. Yes. The shift O. Okay. So this gives a brief overview and is really helpful in trying to analyze the data. So let us look at few features. Let me just zoom out a little bit. Okay. So some of these are not so useful. So if we come down to yes, manufacturers. Here we can see XP Power has more parts in this category compared to Texas Instrument. If you also hover over the bar, you can see the percentage of total converters that this manufacturer produces. And if we scroll down a bit, we can see the mounting type, through hole, surface mount. So this provides a convenient way to analyze the entire data set in uh, simple commands by using simple commands. You can see the operating temperature, the package. So we have 3883 items obsolete. We have 10,000 items active, the power level. So this is pretty powerful in trying to analyze the data. So we have the input voltage, So some of it won't make sense, but few columns, we are able to see the number of items which have this particular feature. So moving on, we can also drop few columns. Let's say, let's open the data set. We go back to the data set. Few columns are not useful when it comes to, let's say this image, or if you don't want the DigiKey part number to be included, you can drop these columns using this feature, uh, dot drop, and we are dropping these columns alone. So let's see how it looks like. So now with the new file, it doesn't generate a new file, but it drops these columns with these names. So now moving on, finally, we'll try to plot the manufacturer along the y-axis. So let me run this cell. Zoom in. 
So XP power has the uh, most number of DC DC converters compared to Texas instruments. So this provides a useful feature to quickly analyze the data. And before we go, let us look at a blog post which I found very useful by Randall Olson. So he provides few features to visualize data and the data set that he provides is much more cleaner. And I found one other feature to be extremely useful. Let me go down. Yes, you can use plot.ly to convert your plots to be more interactive. So you can see the exact data points that have been plotted. So this is a pretty useful feature. So that's it. Thank you for watching. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments. See you next week. Bye.